Crabman from Crabman Gaming here, and today's video is Should You Buy an Original Xbox in 2021? So we have known for some time now that the Xbox One and the Xbox Series S and Series X have been fantastic for backwards compatibility. Out of 2,154 games, 577 can be played on the Xbox One and Series S and Series X. Here's me enjoying Fallout New Vegas something I can't do on the PS5, or indeed on the PlayStation 4. So if you're thinking to yourself, wow, I've got nearly 600 Xbox 360 games to play on the Xbox One or Series S or X, how many original Xbox games can I play? How many of these are backwards compatible? Well, sadly, out of 997 original Xbox games, only 42 are fully backwards compatible. So you might be thinking, out of those 42 original Xbox games, surely a few of these are on Game Pass. Sadly, that's not the case. As of April 2021, there are only two original Xbox games on Game Pass. The first is Black, and the other is Fusion Frenzy. Now I may have missed one, but those were the only two original Xbox games I could find on Game Pass. As I have around 240 original Xbox games in my collection, how was I going to legally play them? I had to track down an original Xbox console. You might be thinking, Crabman, why do you need five Xboxes? Well, I'm about to show you why. What you will need though, once you've purchased an original Xbox, is you do need to connect it. And you have the component cable Xbox connector, and then you have the 8-bit pin connector, which is common in a lot of the Sony consoles. And I have connected my RGB cables here to an HDMI upscaler. Now the Xbox has been connected. Let's power it on and see what happens. Okay, powering up. Let's have a look. The screen's coming on. So that's a good start so far. Xbox powering on, we can set the clock, excellent, alright now let's see if we can put a game in, I've got Halo 2 here ready to go, and, and the disk drive won't open. Now this is a very very common problem in original Xboxes is that the rubber band that ejects the disc deteriorates over time over the course of about 10 or 15 years and quite often the disc drive won't open. What a lot of people don't know is that sometimes you can manually open the disc tray. So I have a staple which you may have noticed on the floor. If I can pick it up. And there is a tiny, tiny, tiny little hole here which you may never have noticed. And what you can sometimes do is if you put something very small in like this staple, you can push it in and sometimes that will get the disc tray to eject. But sadly, it has not worked on this occasion. But what we can do is have a quick look at this person's memory and have a look at the former owner of this Xbox. So they've got some old games, Conquer Live and Reloaded, and they've played that nearly 16 years ago. This is pretty interesting. We've also got Digimon. Well, they didn't play that very much. Drive 3R, Driver. 3, Dynasty Warriors. 5, Fable, The Lost Chapters. And I do like when people put their own names in there. A little bit of FIFA. And see, so it looks here that by the time FIFA 07's come out, the clock has failed or they just haven't reset it properly. So that looks like the latest game save, 2007. But a lot of these save states, San Andreas, are from 2001 or they've just not reset the clock. Which you need to reset if it's been unplugged for more than a few hours. Race Driver 3, Raw, Samurai Warriors, The Herbs. On some soundtrack. Oh, interesting uh, name. So let's go to music and let's have a look at what this person has 
on there. Hmm. Uh, I won't repeat that, but we've got softies. All right, let's play it. I'll just play it a little bit. What have we got? Don't really know what that is. Ah, oh, a little bit of Lincoln Park. Very interesting. And if I remember, if you press one of these buttons, you can get this thing going as well. That's pretty trippy. So this is, I think, this, is this the Lincoln Park album? I don't know if this is hybrid theory or a bit of a mix. Mr. Han. I like how you could rename some of the tracks as well. End to end remix. Just interesting what this person has left on this Xbox. And then we've got Softy. So I wonder what this track is. Okay, I don't even know what this song is. But anyway, let's move on to Xbox number two. Okay, Xbox number two ready to go. You can tell it's a little bit different as it's got some white dots on there. It is plugged in, ready to go. Hmm. Completely dead. And I actually do know the reason why. Well, we've got nothing on the screen. I do know the reason why. This was the Xbox I was using for about the past eight years. And then quite a number of years ago, I turned it on. All of a sudden, I heard a huge bang. And there was like smoke billowing out of it. And it hasn't turned on since. So it's only in the last year that I've been looking for another Xbox. And what tends to happen is people advertise these Xboxes $30, $50 with 10 games. I haven't played it in years. It's been in the shed. It's been here. I haven't touched it. So my advice would definitely be try and see the Xbox working before you purchase it. Okay, we are on Xbox number three. I'm a little bit out of breath because I forgot how heavy these things were to move. They weigh about four or five kilos. They're enormous. But anyway, let's have some luck with Xbox number three. It does turn on. Got the DVD remote here. Let's check out the screen. Loading up is a great sign. Sounds pretty good too. Will number three be successful? You've always got to set the clock. Gee, that's nearly 20 years ago, which is a bit scary. Okay, and... Well, it's not loaded a game up, so we'll open it up. The disk drive opens, that's awesome. And now let's get Halo 2 in there. So here it is, Halo 2, looking pretty good. Let's get it in. Always press that eject button, don't push it in. Alright, loading up. Let's see what happens. Hopefully we can get that Halo 2 screen. What an epic game. Loading. Loading. Your Xbox cannot recognize this disc. Make sure it's an Xbox game, DVD movie, or audio CD. Also check to see if the disc is dirty or damaged. Remove the disc to continue. Okay, well, Halo didn't work, so... Let's try Need for Speed Most Wanted. Let's see if that'll get the job done. In it goes, Need for Speed Most Wanted. Let's see what happens. Same problem. And this has actually happened on every disc I have tried in this Xbox. So for some reason, this Xbox just will not recognize any discs, which is a real shame because the disc tray opens and that tends to be the major issue with a lot of original Xboxes. Okay, here on Xbox number three, even though it wouldn't read any discs, what we can do is check out what this person has been playing, which is almost as much fun as checking if they work or not. So a bit of Bloodwake, Burnout 3, I like when you can see what they've named themselves. So here's Jay, and I bet Jay never would have imagined that his Xbox save would be on YouTube eventually. Crash Bandicoot, okay, so interesting. This is looks to be Jay with a very interesting profile. And then he's played Finding Nemo, so he's got some interesting tastes. Halo, easy as. Always interesting to see what people have named themselves. McShanks, Oliver. Maybe this was some, uh, maybe siblings or a friend over to play. Jay, Jay's here again. Oh, interesting Jay, yes. And you can see again a lot of these game saves from nearly 20 years ago. A bit of Tony Hawk, 
soundtrack. Oh, bit of no FX. Very interesting. Oh, no, don't delete no FX. I don't know if you're into no FX. Uh, I actually not really, but I have heard of them. So lots of short tracks. 27 tracks in an hour. Let's have a quick listen. Alright, cool. Next track. You probably know. When I used to have this on my original Xbox, I'd rename all the tracks. But not everyone did that. Alright, on to Xbox number four. Okay, now we've moved on to Xbox number four. Will there be any better luck than the first three? Let's turn it on. Ooh. Well, it's okay. It's a little bit loud. We've got a loading screen. That's a good sign. It's still pretty loud, though. I don't seem to have made much progression past this loading screen. All right, will the disc tray open? The disc tray will not open. We've seen some progression though. We're onto the menu screen. All right, let's check out. Well, we can't play any games because the, the disc tray just will not open at all. You can hear it trying its best. All right, but let's see what is on the hard drive. What games was this person up to? Oh dear. It has frozen. And gone back to the start. Oh, we're back. Let's try and get into this memory quickly. It's already frozen. All right, what have they been up to? FIFA World Cup. Blinks. Box Explorer, Brothers in Arms, Cars, Conquer. Ethan and Matt, what have you guys been up? Oh, and now we've crashed again. All right, we might leave it there. It seems to reset back about every 20 seconds. So let's put this Xbox away and have fingers crossed for Xbox number five. Okay, final Xbox. This is the fifth Xbox we are trying. Let's have our fingers crossed and see if this Xbox will finally work. It's loading up. It sounds pretty good. We've got a menu screen. You've always got to reset the clock. The clock kind of fails after a couple of years, even if you keep it plugged in all the time. All right, we're on the menu screen. So we've got some music on here. No music. Memory, let's check, does the disc tray eject? It does! All right, so let's get a game in and check it out. Now I've saved this game for last, which is Disney Ex Extreme Skate Adventure. This came with the Xbox. I had never heard of it before. It's pretty much a reskinned Tony Hawk game. So you can check out the cover here. All right, it's loading up. Will this game load? At least the disc tray worked. Fingers crossed. And we're in. We're in after five Xboxes. There is a game that finally works. So unbelievable. We are in. Let's get to the let's get to the start of the game. I'll check this out. Bit of full motion video. Want to star in a new game. So they must have got some skateboarding kids to come and be in this game. Let's get the game started. Hopefully you can see a little bit of gameplay footage, although you can see it on the channel. Raw on the original Xbox, WrestleMania 21 been uploaded as well. And finally we get to play some original Xbox. Check out the characters in this game. Oh, we've got to play Simba. Rafiki! Timon and Pumba, Woody, what a cool skateboarding game. Jesse, Buzz, Zerg, Tarzan. Oh, we've got to play a Simba. And let's play uh, in Pride Rock. 
So a lot of time when you're playing this game online, you won't be able to hear the awesome soundtrack. And also I'm not very good at it. Because it has songs from The Lion King, which is really awesome. Although I'm not sure if you can hear them or not. Alright, hopefully you're enjoying a little bit of some original Xbox game footage. Now, I don't think this game is on any other system as well, so very hard to come by, but this has been Crabman from Crabman Gaming. Okay, I've just turned the sound off for a minute as well, just while we go into the end of this video. It has been Crabman from Crabman Gaming. Now, I did say that the title of this video is Should You Buy an Original Xbox in 2021? And the answer to that question is a resounding yes. I definitely think you should because there are so many games that you can only play on this system. The systems aren't that expensive and the games aren't that expensive. But my one caveat to leave you with is make sure you see the console working before you make the purchase. That was my mistake on a few of these consoles. Make sure you get to see it working, it works with no issues, and you're happy with your purchase. So should you buy an original Xbox in 2021? Yes, you should. It's been Crabman from Crabman Gaming, and see you next time.